Today we prepare Godot 3.5 to export a project to Android. We will need this later when we create a VR character controller for smartphones. Welcome back to our 5-minute beginner series to Godot. Today we have a basic scene with some boxes and a camera and later when we run it on our smartphones it will look like this. The first thing we're going to do is we click on project and export. Here we add Android. And we get a lot of errors here. They are basically about three different things. Export templates, various kinds, a debug and release. And here is also on the bottom, uh, export template is missing for this platform. And then something about a key store file and an invalid SDK path that it requires. So we click on this link here, manage export templates, and we get to a new window where we're going to install these export templates. We click from the best available mirror, download and install, and that will take a while. And once we're done, we close this, go back, open again, and we're going to see most of our errors are gone. We still have to sort out the key store file and the Android SDK path. If for whatever reason you want to uninstall the export templates again, you can go to Editor and then Manage Export Templates and here you could uninstall it again. Okay, but let's move on. We now go to Android Studio, I'll put the link in the description and we scroll all the way down where it says Command Line Tools. We accept those terms and we save it locally. We then extract that and we're going to move that somewhere convenient. So I place my command line tools under D, command line tools. And now I'm going to open a command line as an administrator. I accept that. And I go to D, command line tools. And here I go into the bin folder that has the SDK manager that's a script available. So here we're going to add a particular line of code that I'm going to put in the description. And the important part of this is that you have to give the SDK root to where, wherever you have the command line tools installed. So for me, that's on the D drive, but it may be very different for you. And you run that. And you will see here then later that you're going to have extra files. So this is going to install additional tools and packages for you. And it will ask you shortly about to agree to a particular license and then it will install everything from there on. So now we can go back to Godot and open our editor settings. In here, we put our uh, path and we close that. And when we go back to export, we can see that we just have one error. So now we need a debug key store file as the last requirement. For that, we need to first install OpenJDK 11. I put the link in the description which gets you to this website here and you pick your version based on the operating system that you have. I have already done that earlier and my JDK basically installs into this folder here, program files, Eclipse, Adoptium, JDK 11 and so on. I'm now executing, I put that code line in the description as well and you run this which creates this debug key store file. This now shows up the bug key store file. Uh, it's either at the end or under D. I have here the bug key store file and I copy that and I put that where I copied my command line tools earlier. Back to Godot, I'm clicking on editor, editor settings, and then here I enter this key store file by clicking on the file icon and selecting this one. Also, I add the user and the passphrase and close the window. I click on project export and I have my Android selected and I can see there are no errors. That's great. So I click on export project. 
In my C downloads YouTube folder, I now create a test export APK file. I make sure that this export with the bug is enabled and I click on save. It now creates the APK file, it signs it and it verifies it and it looks fine. So now in my folder, I have a test export APK file and I have a ID SIG file as well. I'm moving these two files to my smartphone now. And here we are on my phone. So I have test export APK. I'm clicking on that and it asks me to install. Yes, I totally want to do that. And it wants to warn me, but I want to install anyway. And so now I have the installation. And after a while, it should ask me if I want to open it. I can open it. And it opens and I see my scene from the beginning. I can't do anything, but it definitely runs. So this is all for today. We learned how to create an Android export using the command line tools of Android Studio and OpenJDK. All links and command lines are in the description, including the official Godot documentation with a lot more details. I hope this helped and made your first Android export a breeze. As always, please like and subscribe and hit the bell. Leave comments for feedback and requests. And most importantly, mind yourself and see you soon.